How to link Google Analytics 4 to Google Ads 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing on how you can use Google Analytics 4 to, you know, integrate and set it up with your Google Ads or Google AdSense, okay? And we're going to be talking about it all in great depth, so please do make sure to watch this video till the end to fully discover and know how you can integrate both of these amazing tools, okay? So, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So first of all, obviously we're going to need a Google Analytics 4 account. So as you can see, I already have one of mine over here and uh, I'm going to assume that you already have an account set it up on Google Analytics 4 and you know how to use it. Okay. So, you know, here you have the whole dashboards and everything, you know, the general input. Okay. So while this is over here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create our Google ads account. Okay. Because GA4 it's a pretty simple procedure, but Google Ads, on the other hand, is a bit of a long procedure. So let's go ahead and make this. So what we're going to do is well, obviously we're going to come here and click on start now. OK, and what this does is it brings you here. So obviously you're going to use any of your Google accounts. I have mine signed in and over here it's going to bring you into your dashboard. So in your dashboard, as you can see, you have a lot of things and you can even like start campaigns for yourself pretty simple pretty easy stuff you have insights and reports and different you know basic necessities that you can check out for yourself but uh, once you've like set it yourself up and fully logged in with your google adsense what you're going to do is we're going to come back to our google analytics and we're going to move on to the admin now once you're in the admin over here what we're going to be doing is obviously you're going to first of all choose an account or you know you can go to your account access management so just make sure to have a proper account and then we're going to move over to google ads link so as you can see no links yet right now we have zero links over here and to link it obviously you're going to click on link and here you can see by linking your analytics property to your google ads account you will enable data to flow between the products data exported from your analytics property into google ads is subject to the google ads term of service while google ads data imported into analytics is subject to the analytics terms of service by creating this link your email address will be recorded and may be visible to authorized uh, users of this google analytics property and or the linked ads account okay so let's go ahead and uh, you know actually link our ads account so to link google ads account i manage you're gonna first of all go ahead and choose your google ads account so you know just choose any google ads account that you have then you're gonna click on confirm so once you have your google ads account and like you don't necessarily need to add this one like you have other options as well like uh, you can add an account back in your workspace as well so once you do that you're going to click on confirm choose your account go on next so here you have a few configuration options so enable personalized advertising google analytics audience lists and remarketing events and parameters will be published to the linked google ads accounts you can change the setting anytime while maintaining your link for other purposes then you have enabling the auto tagging you know auto tagging allows analytics to associate google ads data automatically with customer clicks enabling richer and more detailed reporting data than manual tagging across a number of google ads metrics and dimensions any google ads reporting features or ad units added in the future will only be available if auto tagging is enabled and you can obviously go ahead and add auto tagging for yourself by opening these options over here okay so really simply, either enable your auto tagging on selected Google Ads accounts, which is most definitely recommended, or you can leave your auto tagging settings as they are. OK, then you can also allow access to analytic features from within Google Ads. You know, Google Ads users with standard or higher access levels in this Google Ads account will be able to make changes to this analytics property using embedded analytics features such as audience builder from within google ads you can change these access settings at any time that you want so once you do all that you're going to click on next and here you have reviewing and submit where they're going to first give you your data configurations okay so 
you're gonna review everything and if everything is as you want it to be then yeah you're just gonna go ahead and submit it so what's next it may take up to 24 hours for your google ad links to begin displaying data but obviously as you can see right now your link has been created so if we come back here look at this here's our link it's created personalized advertising is enabled and it's linked by you know this account of yours so yeah that is how you're going to create a link and here you're going to see all of your different uh, you know um things that you can manage different roles and restrictions so yeah pretty pretty fun and uh, easy and simple stuff for your google analytics so yeah once you have added a google ads link then you can obviously move over to your analytics uh, or to your google ads you know add different campaigns and uh, you know do different uh, advertisement campaigns and stuff like that and what that will do is obviously all like the data that will come across your campaigns you're gonna find them over here which is also a pretty cool thing and uh, obviously moving further on back you can go over to data settings and uh, go to data collection and uh, you could obviously enable this because what this does as you can see analytic features are being enhanced and advertising features have been upgraded with the activation of google signals which collects cross device data and remarket to users across devices so when you choose to activate google signals google analytics will associate the visitation information it collects from your site and apps with google information from accounts of signed in users who have consented to this association for the purpose of ads personalization this Google information may include any user location, search history, YouTube history, and data from sites that partner with Google. So pretty fun and pretty easy stuff. And you can also like uh, get a Google analytic demo property for yourself. Okay, what that demo property will do is obviously will give you a general outlook on how, you know, this property is going to work for you and uh, how, you know, the, the main output of things actually go you know with the whole with the whole outlook and view of google analytics for so yeah pretty fun and easy stuff to do for yourself as you can see it was really simple and it was really easy to link your google analytics for to your google ads so yeah i like to say that's pretty much about it for this video okay now if you enjoyed this video and found it informational please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future please let me know down in the comments below and i will make more for you and again if you have any issues let me know down in the comments below like if you found if you didn't find anything informative or if like i came across with something that did not make sense do let me know down in the comments below and i will explain it as quick as i can for you but yeah that's about it for this video thank you for watching this video till the end that was all from me and i will be seeing all of you incredible people next time goodbye